you know, before we get accused of drinking too deeply of the Kool-Aid, let's reflect that there are still some big challenges for teams. Oh, sure. I mean, one of them I put to you is just the sheer lack of outbound connectivity. Right. Right? I, you know, I think Teams is great when you're all working together in a small company. Or you're like me, you're a guest user that comes in to join that. But having that sense of outbound participation is, is, is lacking right now. Well, it's important to keep in mind, too, that what Teams is oriented toward is being able to get a group together and work, even if that means pulling in people from the outside. Right. It's not intended to be something where you necessarily push content out. That's yeah. much more an email workload. Um, yeah, so that's, I mean, I, I like that. I like that analogy. I like that just get together people into a small team, get stuff done. Right. But speaking of getting things done, okay, I mean, obviously Quadratech, ISV, very, very active in the Office 365 space. What are you guys going to do for teams? We have a long list of things I'd like to do, some of which are platform dependent. So for example, right. one very common request that we've seen internally is, hey, I made a channel or I made a team and now I want to merge it with another team. I want to move some content from here to here. Right. Well, impossible today. You can't do, there's no supported API to do that. Now you right. could sort of cage an engineer a way to do some of that. For example, you could grab the files from a SharePoint library yeah. associated with a team object and move them someplace else. but. One of the things that we've had reinforced with the launch of our Cloud Commander product is just moving the data itself in a migration isn't enough. You have right, to move right. the things that point at the data and the metadata about the data and so on. So being able to split and consolidate and migrate uh, Teams content between different places is going to be really important. Um, so you'll need reporting for that as well, won't you? You absolutely you'll have, have to, have to report. Need to know, yeah, so well, one of, the, one of the things you and I have talked about, a very common question is, is Teams going to replace email? And the short answer is, wouldn't it be great if I had a report that shows this is what my email usage yeah, looks yeah, like yeah, yeah. and this is what my team's usage looks like and I should be able to see whether those two are steady or whether they're diverging. So team's reporting is very important to us. Um, all of the other, you know, if you look at the traditional delivery curve for Microsoft products, yeah. the first release is always focused on what can I make it do that will make somebody want to look at it. Yeah. The second release is focused on how do I make it better than the competitors. Yeah. Along about the third release, that's when they start paying attention to what does the admin experience look like, what does the management, compliance, security uh, experience look like. We've seen that in the PowerShell right. uh, so library. So from yeah. an administrative perspective, there are a bunch of things that we would like to be able to support doing in Teams that Teams itself does not support. Um, we're kind of waiting on Microsoft to improve the platform, and they, they know where those areas are. They've heard from their launch customers with you know, more than 100 and it's got to be more than 125,000 uh, by now. That's the official number. They've got a very large number of customers who are aggressively using it. And I'm sure they're getting a lot of feedback about what those customers want to see from an admin workload perspective. Yeah. So there you go. Quadratech's having a great time with Teams, really use, making it uh, very useful inside the company yes. uh, to get things done, as Quadratech keep on like to say. And they're going to have a whole pile of new products coming that will help you with your Office 365 tenant to maximize the use of Teams for your benefit.